What up in this John's your boy IBS Kelso and today is just a great informational video. I think OEM about 30 minutes ago posted a picture in their discord basically saying beta 19 preview Sunday uh, August 25th and I believe this Sunday is the 25th so let's not get our complete hopes up but I think realistically this is when it's going to be dropping and let's kind of just dive into what our thoughts are and for my thoughts of what's to come and what we're going to be seeing for content wise and just kind of for a community side of it i mean we only have you know iron man left bud's creek is this friday and then we go right into smx so usually we don't really get much oem updates or we even get updates in mx bikes so this is a huge w for the community i think a lot of things have been stale for certain people and you know this is going to be just up sparking the community to come back and at least test um, I don't know how they usually do it um, after up to this point other than you know you paying your five dollars to get them early that's usually how they do it they'll GUID lock it and you give your five dollars that'll allow you to get them early they won't be in any uh, ranked servers they won't be in any servers at all I believe you can put your own little daddy up and you might be able to run them with friends and see how they feel but that's about it they won't be on live officials now it could be wrong but that's usually how it is it's just usually a full testing server side of it and what's to come is everything that we've been working for suspensions uh you know gearing and you know kind of just bike setup it's kind of not necessarily thrown out the window but a good testing era to see what you have came up with right now is to see if it's going to be viable for the new bikes so that's a really good plus to where we can get this pretty early enough to see okay is there enough um traction on these new bikes or is there not enough traction now how do we literally react to our new riding style and stuff like that um, I would assume that if people are really going to be doing a lot of testing, you won't see the servers really live that much. You're going to see a lot of people not in them, but you'll see a lot of people on MX bikes. And also, I could be wrong to where a lot of people could be playing the game, but you could be seeing them probably play in a different manner or a different style to what the bikes feel like. I hope that the new model swaps are going to be officially added and then they're all like new 2024, new 2025. That's going to be amazing. I'm also super excited for maybe the Triumph to be inside this pack. I think there'll be a really good test to see how they put it out. Um, so that's gonna be really cool. Um, this is just overall what MX Bikes needed. I know Beta 19, the regular update just came out. So it only goes hand in hand for the OEM team to drop theirs. I know they kind of had a little setback to be like, okay, this is exactly what the, you know, I guess physics feel like so now let's re-update the bikes and i think they just have them in a good spot but they want to know our feedback to it so if you guys are looking to pay that five dollars if that's what they're going to be doing if they don't give it out for free i definitely recommend it give as much feedback as possible we don't get that much updates in the game so it only help us out in the long run for us to have like the perfect you know update instead of having like a half ass and then now it's like oh well we're stuck with this for six months you know so respectfully give it a go give it your shot give as much feedback whether it's negative or positive it will really help them out in the long run and it'll help out a lot of people for content wise you know so really if you're going to be making content show the pros and cons to a lot of it and really just hopefully we can find any bugs but thank you guys for clicking on this video i'm super excited especially that we get these bikes early because supercross before we know it, we'll be here, and I think last year we only had about a week or two to actually practice with these new setups to get a good setup for next la next year's uh, Supercross, or last year's. So I'm glad that we can get them early and then really have it like full balls to the wall, a good four months or so to actually work on setups and work on like mastering the craft. So yeah, that's I guess that's it. what to say for my content coming up in the next week if this is a for sure August 25th. Just be on the lookout for your boy to be making content, testing almost every bike, um, testing, you know, what's a better bike at the time, like what's the physics are going to be looking like. So, yeah, that's what's to come. If you guys found this information very viable, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe button. Let me know down in the comment section if this is a W time to be posting it or it should have already happened or you think it's just too early and we should have waited a little bit longer or closer to Supercross and kind of just stuck out the full season of uh, Iron Man and then went to SMX without having to change any physics of the game or changing how the riding styles go. But I think it's actually a W because the playoffs are going to really show the best of the best who can actually adapt and show off their skills in a short amount of time. So I don't know. Let me know. Hit that like button, subscribe button. Great. Thank you guys for clicking on the video and I will catch you guys in the next one. It's your boy IBS Kelso. Pop, 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 pop,